Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. A couple weeks ago, someone inadvertently purchased my film simulation LUT files when they meant to purchase my film simulation profiles. It was an honest mistake of they've heard, I guess, from other YouTubers or whatnot that Lightroom profiles are really LUT files and they inadvertently purchased the LUT files thinking they would work in Lightroom. Well, LUT files and profiles are pretty much the same thing, but they're not compatible with one another. You can't use a LUT file in Lightroom at all, and you can't use a Lightroom profile in any other application except for Lightroom or Adobe Camera Raw. It just won't work. So it kind of got me to thinking, um, how many of us own a bunch of LUT files for other applications and maybe we have one or two of those actual LUTs that we really like and we'd like to use them in Lightroom. Well there is a way you can convert a LUT file into a profile so you could use it in Lightroom and that's what we're going to talk about today. Now it's a multi-step process but it is very easy and you do have to use Photoshop. But don't worry for those of you that don't use Photoshop at all. I know many of you subscribe to the Adobe Photographer's Package and you happen to have Photoshop, but you never open it. Don't worry, it's really very, very easy and you'll be able to do it very quickly. The downside is that you only could convert one LUT at a time and it's a time consuming process. So, this is really something if you have like, you know, a handful of favorite LUTs uh, that you'd like to convert then this will probably work out well for you. If you have like a package of 100 LUTs, you'll be here all weekend uh, trying to convert those LUTs. So I'm going to show you how to do it. You start out in Lightroom. Uh, like uh, You don't have to. You could start out in Photoshop. But I'm going to begin the process in Lightroom. So I have this image here. And just to give a little more background, of course, if you don't know, uh, in the basic tab of Lightroom, you could get to the profile browser by clicking on these four squares. And these are all profiles. And again, profiles are very similar to LUTs. They do some preliminary color grading to your image, and then you process off it. And that's what a LUT does as well. But unfortunately, as I mentioned, these LUTs, a LUT isn't compatible with a profile and vice versa. So I have some LUTs on my desktop. I want to convert we're going to convert one of them into a profile. I'll show you how it's done. We have this image here in Lightroom. I'm just going to right click on it and I'm going to go down to edit in Photoshop. So Adobe Photoshop. And then it's going to ask me if I want to edit a copy or the original. I'm going to edit the original because we're actually not going to do anything to this image. We just need to get the image into Photoshop to create the profile from the LUT. And then we're just going to quit everything and not save anything because the You'll see. So don't worry about it. So just do the original. You don't have to worry about it. So it's going to open this image up into Photoshop. And once we're opened in Photoshop, we need to open Adobe Camera Raw. And that's a filter. So we're going to go up to Filter and then down to Camera Raw Filter. Now Camera Raw, for those of you that aren't familiar with it, it's identical to the develop module of Lightroom. It's just cosmetically different, but it has all the same controls and features and the same processing engine. It just looks different. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the very last tab over here on the right, and this is our presets. All right. Now way down here in the bottom right hand corner, you'll see there's a little like paper with a turned up corner. If you click on that, you could create a preset. Well, we don't want that. We're going to cancel that. But the dirty little secret here is if you hold the Alt or Option key in while you click on that, that's Alt if you have a PC option, if you have a Mac, you're going to create a profile. See, it says profile now. So um, very easy. Now all you need to do is go to the very bottom. It says color lookup table. That's a lot. All right. So we're going to load the dot cube file. We'll click on the little thing right here. Right. We click on that. There we go. Now I mentioned on my desktop I have uh, some LUTs and I'm just going to pick one that I know like does a lot, like makes the image look completely different. So I'm going to go to I think Laundry Fresh. All right. I'm pretty sure that one uh, will do quite a bit. So we're going to click OK. So we got Laundry Fresh. Now we're going to go up here and we're going to give it a name. Um, 
Laundry Fresh. Let's stay with the name, all right? And uh, we could put it in a new group. Um, I'm going to write Converted LUTs, okay? Just like that. And that's all you need to do. Click OK. Okay, you actually did it. Now all you need to do is cancel out of here. You're going to not save anything here. That's why we sent the original image. So I'm going to hit Command Q on my uh, Mac just to uh, cancel out of Photoshop. Now we're in Lightroom. Now to have it show up in Lightroom, all you have to do is quit and restart Lightroom. So I'm going to quit Lightroom. And it's going to shut down. Then I'll go down and I'll reopen Lightroom. And you'll see that when I open the profile browser, if Lightroom ever decides to open, um, over here on the right, we'll open the profile browser. And you'll see converted LUTs way down here at the bottom. We'll roll that open. There is Laundry Fresh right there. And we'll click on it. And you can see that it applied it uh, to the image. So there's before the LUT and there's after the LUT, although it's now a profile. There's before and there's after. So that's how you could convert your LUTs into profiles for use in Lightroom. I hope you found that useful and I'd like to thank everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.